Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Do You Know The Last of Europe. I'm your host, Mr. Mokolover. And right now, we're taking a look at the border, but we're doing a sponsor the proletarian movement. Across the world, the proletariat still struggles under the oppressive rule of their masters. Whether they be bourgeois capitalists or literal <clears throat> people who put people into chains and do not give them any money. Without the Soviet Union, there was no strong nation to act as a guardian of the workers of the world for these three decades. Tyrants around the globe took advantage of our absence, abusing and exploiting the lower class, but now we are back. Our financial and political resources are not what they once were, but they are enough now that we can resume our support for socialist movements in foreign countries. While we struggle to reclaim our nation from uh, dudes and traitors, several other nations around the world took up the revolutionary banner in our absence. We should welcome them into the fold and begin working it towards an international organization of socialist nations. Nice. So we're doing that one right now. And let's go ahead and do, uh, let's see, emissaries? Yeah, why don't do some diplomatic stuff? Embassies in a liberated role. Now that the groundwork's been laid, we can begin establishing our formal diplomatic ties with the comrades around the world. By creating a system of permanent embassies, each staffed by trained diplomats, we'll open up the possibility of ongoing negotiations and communicating and communication between socialist governments. Embassies will also allow for more nuanced diplomatic tactics. The Cubans do things very differently than the Russians. And while delegation to Havana might suffer from culture shock, an embassy there could hold Soviet emissaries, who spent years familiar Familiarizing themselves with the islands and its people. The same is true for the nations of, from South America to Europe to Asia. And establishing a new socialist embassy as an instrumental step in creating a global proletarian alliance, we should send this proposal to our prospective allies as soon as possible. The longer we delay, the more time we give the dudes and capitalists to sabotage our plans, which is very, very good. And. Oh, oh, there goes Bulgaria. Oh, wait, hold on. I think Goring did win, didn't he? That's a big, nice Germany, but. No, shorter one. Oh, he still goes to war with Bulgaria. Okay, that's kind of weird, but okay, whatever. After that, we will go do revolutionary aid funding. As part of our campaign to increase diplomatic ties between the socialist nations of the world, we must provide a greater reason for socialist nations to work together, and more importantly, to work with us. The best way to incentivize loyalty and cooperation is with generous amounts of international aid. Some might call this bribery, but that is preposterous. Bribes go to corrupt politicians, while this aid will be going to socialist leaders who stand in solidarity with the proletariat. By targeting our donations to specific parties and causes that are aligned with their interests, we can encourage our fellow socialist nations in our, to follow our lead and discourage deviation from the path we've chosen after all. The Soviet Union was the first nation to embrace a revolution. It is our job, though, to set the course and to make sure that other revolutionary states stick to it. And as you can see, we've got a ton of PP. It's only June 8th, and we we almost get three a day now because we're not... We're, we're actually, we're doing a focus as well. Holy crap, that's a lot. That is a ton of PP we get every single day. Oh, my goodness. And then we'll get some support to the NAJUA. To the south, one of the great acts of barbarity of the 20th century is playing out. The Japanese colonization of Korea is a tragedy that began in 1911, as not seen since. Not only are the Japanese attempting to erase the culture of the Korean people, but are ruthlessly exploiting the workers of Korea and are oppressing them and exploiting them for their labor. They're not opposed, however. In Northern Korea are the NAJUA, led by the freedom fighter Kim Il-sung, continuing the struggle for Korean independence. Comrade Kim is a proud communist and a shining example of commitment to the revolutionary struggle. It would record an international support for the NAJUA from socialist nations. It would serve as an excellent show of our diplomatic potency and the strength of cooperation. This act of solidarity with the Korean people will endear us to all who struggle for freedom across the world. Nice. Very nice. Let's keep working on a lot of, a lot of our gun stuff, just because it doesn't look very... Well, really updated, realistically. So, we're still building some civvies, which is nice. Really, the biggest thing here, we're, we have only 17 divisions. We're lacking manpower. Again and again and again, lacking manpower. But a couple comments. From the last video, someone says, uh, because there was no wars in the last episode, it was kind of boring. I kind of understand. At this point in Russia, for the Russian warlords, so the first episode has probably has war. Second war episode has war. Third episode, when we get to this stage, where we're one of the big, large nations, or, you know, one of the regional contenders, that's when things kind of slow down a little bit, and then this episode we're going to have war with the Grand Principality of Central Siberia, as well as maybe um, the other nations as well to our further west. So, that's usually what happens in every campaign plays any Russian warlord. So, the international reform. The ties have been established, the embassies have been built and staffed. Cooperation and collaboration between socialist nations has reached an all-time high. Our diplomats are often asked about the next step in our plan to strengthen the global revolutionary cause, but they've kept their lips, lips sealed until now. It's time to unveil the culmination of our diplomatic efforts. We will recreate the international as a new political and military alliance that will span across the entire world. This alliance of socialist and communist parties from around the globe will promote the revolutionary cause and fight against fascist and capitalist tyranny whenever they are found. The oppressors of this world will quake in fear when they hear of this new alliance. They have fought so hard to divide us, for they know that together we are stronger than them. A new day is dawning. 
Ruling socialist parties throughout the world would be approached with an offer to join a proposed international socialist organization. Very cool. Let's go ahead and pause it and get this stuff done as fast as possible. Nice. Improve everything. International Rebon. I follow up with, ooh, across the Pacific to get America record, request American recognition, apply for often funding. Even though we kind of don't like, no, oh, this is making any sense for us to really fight against the Japanese, but I'm thinking here. Actually, from the past few episodes, a lot of people want me to go with the, was it the party option, go to Bessanoff or something like that? So, you know what? We'll do Yagoda again, or Akutsk again sometime to get Bessanoff. So whenever we do that route, please remind me to go down across Pacific, because that makes a little bit more sense with Bessanoff, or Bessanoff, Bessanoff, and go with America, then with the Japanese. So we'll go with the Japanese this time, increase Japanese cooperation, even though we're f fueling more resistance in the Korean states. At first glance, the idea of working with the Japanese seems openly preposterous. <clears throat> There are fascists who openly allied with the Germans in the last war and seized Vladivostok in our territory along the Amur while we had our back stern. We have every reason to review them as an enemy, and if circumstances were different, we almost certainly would. Times have changed, however, now the fascists are at each other's throats, and while the Japanese will see, the Nazis took so much more than that. On a practical level, it makes more sense to align with the Japanese and the Americans. Japan wants to see a strong anti-German Russia as much as America does, but is geographically closer and far more capable of providing direct support to us. We must set our differences aside, at least for the moment, to focus on the true, true threat. Propaganda? Oh, we don't really need that, but maybe we'll get some more war support. And we have so much PP, it doesn't even matter. But we're going to keep spending it just because we can. Because we need to, really. Um, and we're not going to get military spending at all. We're 1.4 billion, which is actually really, really good, so... Ah, birth of the Sockington once again. And then, mission to Tokyo. And we'll do a lot of stuff soon as well. Establishing a close relationship with the Japanese Empire would be no easy feat of diplomacy. The entire Japanese government is an imperial cult, which is rightly afraid of a revolutionary ideology. It took lots of work by diplomats and negotiators to find an opening just to begin discussions. Only then we'll be able to show that we are truly interested in setting aside ideology and focusing on pragmatic cooperation. Our best opening strategy will be a Soviet diplomatic mission right to the heart of the empire. In Tokyo, our diplomats will be able to meet with their Japanese counterparts as well as influential politicians and military leaders. Once these connections are made, we can begin strengthening our ties, trade deals, embassies, joint development projects, the list of opportunities goes on and on. If you would like to read about this though, please go right ahead. Welcome comrades, and Guinea, and Sweden. Oh! Sweden, uh, is socialist? Look at this, nice. Found the Comic Con? Nice. Sweden, you are. Well, you're social democrat. Oh, oh. Wolofia? Republic of Scotland says no. Scotland? Scotland. You're under attack right now. Okay. Wolf? Bolivia? Nice. Very nice. And what's next? Join the Comic Con uh, party group here, probably. Dispatch? Oh, wait. The free aviators get aid. Eh, I don't know about that. Join the Scientific Bureau? Let's do that one. That'd be good. Nice. 10% more soft stack. Wow, that's quite a bit. That is quite an extreme amount, which we love, 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 love. Keep making civvies. More civvies. More civvies. More civvies. I don't know. We don't really need... We could, I suppose we could use more... Um, words are hard. Woo! Equipment? But realistically, not really, no. Even planes are looking pretty darn good. It's just manpower. Uh, Soviet infrastructure? Yes, please. Agriculture? Yes. And it helps decrease coring times. More construction speed, equipment, poverty, yes, for the love of God, yes, and professionalism, yes. Because right now, we're looking extremely good. Primary schooling, rudimentary research, um, agriculture's about to get to basically modern agriculture, which is awesome. And then we'll have better poverty, hopefully soon-ish, probably not too soon. And just equipment, expertise, of course, and army professionalism, from political interference to professional army. So, that's just really, really good stuff. Mission Tokyo, there we go. And let's give you more resources, maybe? Yeah, why not? And then, expand Manchurian trade. With the Japanese, now more willing to do business. <clears throat> we can finally start to benefit from the support. If you'd like to read about these, please go right ahead. A glorious day for the workers of the world. Our nation is positioned on the edge of the co-prosperity sphere, the largest economic bloc in the world. While becoming too integrated into it would see us as reduced to nothing more than puppets of Japan doing business with the members of the sphere would be an enormous boost to our economy. To our south lies the Empire of Manchukuo, Japan's pet project and a burgeoning industrial powerhouse. The Japanese have poured enormous resources into building up Manchukuo's heavy industry, and we stand to benefit from our proximity. We have abundant natural resources that we could trade for finished products. A deal with the Manchurians, along with developing overland overland connections between our nations is exactly what we need to kickstart the Union's economy in preparation for the reclamation. Perfect. Wow, look at this. Oh, crap. Um, returning, yeah, let's get 5,000 more manpower. Non-aggression pact against Far Eastern Soviet... Uh, 
We have so much PP. You know what? We can try everybody. Get as many people in here. Wow. It's kind of extreme, but that's nice. Offered associate status. And we do have a cup of coffee here to give us nice and warm, too. So, uh, We love coffee here. Nice. Regional development. Looking bueno. And now we spent one from 2,000, basically, to 600-some. Oh, boy. And we'll expand our maturing trade. Oh. Oh. Um, if you want to read about that, please go right ahead. For all these, if you want to read about it, just go right ahead. Just approve the motion. And Congolese investment. Nice. Zanzibar. Tajik. Kenyan. Brazzavillian. Yeah. MPLA. Nice. Actually, I don't mind maybe spending a little bit more, but I do want to get the deficit down. Okay. Voting. Um, on a gush pack. If you want to read about that, please go right ahead. I'm just going to vote in favor of it, so. They all accept. Hey, we actually get three or ten more political power. I didn't realize that, huh? Three to ten. Cool. Sure. Sure. Nice. Sure. Alright, we're back at 600. So, or 800. We were at 600. We're almost at 900 now. Great. Sure, why not? Why not? It doesn't really matter. They're all investing, in the, saying the same exact thing, so. Doesn't really matter to us too much. One, two, three. Barely three, barely three, but that's going to be nice. And then one, two, three. And then barely working on that other infrastructure, which is okay with us. Totally, totally okay. And we'll, then we'll do a lot of stuff down here, too. Actually, we might go with that one next after you do expand, ensure, and trade. I think that would be pretty good to do. Oh, another division. Nice. Oh, okay. Now we'll read about that one, too. Nice. We have another division. Great. We received excellent news from Radio by Tokyo. The Japanese government received a request for diplomatic recognition, but they also accept the emissaries we sent to them to discuss the possibilities of cooperation against Germany to build and to build a secure block in Siberia. A suitable building has been found in the suburbs of Tokyo that can serve as an embassy, and the Japanese government will be sending aircraft to transport diplomats there shortly. A red sun rises over Asia. Very nice. And? It's almost done. Nice. And we got night vision, even more land night attack. Very good. Just got some more defense. All this stuff is going to be super crucial for us in our war. Super, super crucial. After that one, let's focus on equ equipment quality. Our desperate straits following the Siberian War reflected aptly on the Red Army's equipment. A haphazard mix of rifles, pistols, and support guns, some of which may have been, service, been in the service in the siege of Peking. Unfortunately, Unfor the warlords that surrounded the Union were then were in no better condition. This becomes thus true as we push west, where the men will confront armies fed either by Siberia's industries or transural ample stockpiles. The Presidium, under Comrade Goethe's advice, has given the Ministry of Defense industry a mandate to produce mass produce quality weapons for the Red Army's use. In this, they will be assisted by near every factory if our divisions reclaim. Nice. If our workers divi Oh, yes, more expertise. Why not? Why not, right? And let's do this one too. Protection of the Army Commissariat. One of our biggest issues is organizing our armed forces. Footmen aren't just expected to garrison towns or be on standby in case of attacks, but also procure their own equipment, maintain their own gear, buy and prepare their own food, and so on. There are no specialized units in our armed forces to supply our men. While acceptable for our small warlord, the situation is unacceptable. We will never be able to reclaim our homelands with our army in such a disorganized state. We need a specialized logistics branch in our army. We need to know... We need men who know how to produce equipment and transport it to men in faraway places. We need specialized trainers, mechanics, and medics. Every man will have his purpose in our army, which will gr which will greatly increase our fighting effectiveness. We need greatly there, not instead of great, but whatever. Whatever. Just minor things there. Ah, better guns. Yes, yes. It's almost 69. Nice. And so then we'll be beginning to prepare for war to get some more manpower. Oh, I can't wait to get more manpower, please. <coughs> yes, no, abstain. Cool. And then dispatch aid. I mean, I think they're kind of okay right there still. Since it looks like Omsk fell apart. So, cool. I know there's stuff in the background, but whatever it is, what it is. And if you'd like to read about better agricultural methods, please go right ahead. For this bread, we think the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. And we're currently on one, two, three and a half. Not bad. Not bad. 1.35 is a little worse, though. But that's just because we made another division, which is totally okay. We can only make one division at a time. And we need 17,000 more manpower. Um, Yeah, I'm not sure that's really worth making right now. Yeah, hmm. Cool. All right, imports from the West. Uh, sure, why not? No matter what Aparachek boast, reactivating the Soviet Union's full industrial might takes both preparation and no small amount of time. With time, the Red Army cannot spare if it intends to war with Western warlords as soon as possible today. We invite stresses to the tenuous logistics networks we have established by committing to such a schedule, but the Ministry of Foreign Affairs may find a temporary solution. The ports of the Far East, Magadan, Petro... Uh, Petropavlovsk, 
and Nikolaevsk on the Mura are open for trading with the U.S. and its allies. Their boundless industries had supplied the Union's forces during the Great Patriotic War. Perhaps we should consider revisiting this old relationship. Not a bad idea. Keep spending some more. Still get more PP, more construction speed. And we're actually running out of things to build? Oh my goodness, that is not good. Actually, uh, we can go and put one right there and put one right there eventually. You know what? We might run out of things to build. I kind of doubt it, but you never know. So, we love air bases here. Loads of air bases. Airports, air bases. We love them all. Cool. And radar? Cold days. Oh, there you go. It must be 69 to be on your butt. That, please go ahead. Whirring. Pretty cool. Prepare for. And we're going to go and do all this stuff. Lamports. Recon company. Let's go and grab the manpower, wherever it is. There you go. We get more political power. They lose some more support. I'm going to show it on if you want to that. Please go ahead. Let's see who will stand tall in the end. Imports from the west. And resource extraction. Very cool. Hmm. Maybe some rubber, maybe. We'll see. But, revive the fleet. Wings over Siberia. We haven't feared an independent air force for well over a decade. It's never been because we haven't wanted to. We simply never had the planes to justify the cost. Times are changing, however. With the recent influx of captured planes combined with the greatly expanded industrial arsenal, we can now finally invest resources into creating a new modern air force. The costs will be high, but the benefits far outweigh the costs. And there comes the UK. Nice. Well, it should come by soon enough, but whatever. They can take their time. I just want to prove society more, 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 more. Please. We sh might be able to actually get up to the next level, to 15 to 25 percent by the time we end the campaign. So we'll see what happens. Gulags are nice. More construction speed. Imports, and then wings, and then air supremacy doctrine. Which would be nice. Ah, there we go, my friends. There we go. Rupert Britannia. But then, air supremacy doctrine. It would be foolish to allow other warlords a chance to reclaim the skies for themselves, while allow our enemies a chance to bomb our men on the ground in the first place. Our air marshals are pushing the air policy of air supremacy for our newly organized air force. Dem domination of the skies is the key to winning all wars in the modern age, as the Nazis knew all well too. Modern warfare requires modern air support, and we will not fall behind. Our air force will be the key force in future battles. Absolutely. Nice. Let's keep going, keep going. As soon as they go to war, we're going to increase military spending, so... Yes, and then we'll do that one next, too. Because we, we love infrastructure. Even though I would like more military factories. Can't, technically, yeah, that'd be nice. Actually, how many guns do we have? <clears throat> uh, 18. Eh, that's, that's not bad. It's not bad. I might go up to there, though. Let's see. Motorized. We're looking pretty good on that. We need more tanks, too. Yeah, tanks and then planes. That's probably the biggest couple things we need. So, not bad. Not bad at all. Construction. We're almost done building the last city. Can we please build any more? Oh, yeah, we can. Nice. Good. And we do have an airbase here too, so that's actually really nice. Even though radar stations would be good too. But hey, that's an ability. Not bad. Not bad. Look at that manpower. Oh yeah, that's nice. That is actually really, really nice. We actually have manpower. Um, let's go and do the next focus as well. And then start deploying some planes. Oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. Those guys have no orders. Yeah, I mean, it's an air force, but still. Oh, did I train those guys? I must have trained those guys. Good. Train them, too. Nice. Oh, there goes you, girl. And then we'll do Revive the Fleet. Russia has not had a proper navy in over two decades. Now that we've accessed the oceans once again, it's time to make some investments in our shipbuilding capabilities. Hulks that are mothballed, mothballed can be, and can be recalled back into service should be at once. Everything else not seaworthy should be scrapped and reused. Anything and everything that floats around should be used in some way to assist in rebuilding a navy worth for true Russians. Nice. Yes. War on the Horizon, winner takes all, so they don't want to have peace, which kind of really sucks, but whatever. Um... They could go to war at any time, basically. And what are we losing fuel from? Air. Oh, just training. Yeah, we definitely need more fuel. Holy crap. And revive the fleet. Nice. Followed up with what? Rehabilitate the smugglers? In a recent conquest in the Far East, many smugglers were captured, rotting uselessly in prisoner of war camps. Many of these men were very experienced sailors and Navy men who are no strangers to navigating the treacherous Bering Sea and the far northern reaches of the Pacific Ocean. If you're like to read about this, please go right ahead. It would be tragic to waste such experience. We should offer these seamen amnesty in exchange for service in our Navy. Absolutely. We, get, we lose some political power, but we get more research speed. Not bad. Kind of a trade-off. Definitely a trade-off. But not a bad one at that. All right. Let's go at least two more, maybe. And we got we can make some better guns. 69 is nice. Let's grab some of this, just in case. And make some better rifles. 
and have some coffee. Coffee's always good. Hopefully this war doesn't go too poorly for us, but then again, we literally have open holes here in the line. So, um, go and do that. Is there a little bit of inexperience? That's okay with me. I'd rather have them on the line at least. Oh, crap. Well, now they've gone to war with us. That sucks. Hopefully we do okay here. Oh, and that's nice. Oh, we're still going? Okay, cool. And let's do rehab the smugglers. Well, they're definitely attacking us here quite harshly. It's good that we're winning so far. So a bunch of boosts. Oh, let's go do some bo boost, boost, both, boost both, boost both. Good, just kind of hang out for now. We've already killed off 17,000, 20,000. Not bad, not bad. I know they're going to have a ton of dudes. Tons and tons and tons of dudes. Actually, that was another comment. Make sure you use the right field marshal and stuff for like all this stuff. And this guy's not, this is pretty good defense. We already got him. These guys are actually good on, this guy's a good on attack and defense, which is also really good as well. So, after that, we're done with here. Then we're done with this one. And anything over here? It looks like we're pretty much done with the focus tree for now. Awesome. Oh, please don't lose. We don't have a lot of time. Um, are you guys still attacking here as well? Yeah, you might have to... Ooh, you might still do okay there. You might still do okay. Hey, if you want to be better, better industrial equipment, please go right ahead. This is great. Nice. Beautiful. Rubber processing, let's get fuel. Because we're definitely going to need that fuel, man. we definitely going to need it. Alright, so let's take a look at their um, manpower. They... Okay. Well, they're actually going to win here, which kind of sucks. But that just allows us to... Uh, well, it's not actually that bad. And we're back. Going to lose maybe a little bit, but that's alright. Um, overall, not too bad so far. They're still attacking your line, which is fine. Uh, they're out of manpower now, though, which is very, very good. Very, very, very good. So any losses they take, they will not be able to replenish. Which is awesome. And we're just kind of hanging out. We're still mobilizing, hopefully, a little bit more because we're expanding the military stuff. And can we build any more civvies, please? No. Okay, then. Okay. I understand. I understand. Cool. Uh, with the air, having an Air Force, too, is just super, super good. So... 156,000 losses, so, so far not bad. Let me attack again, because those motorized are not looking very good. And apparently, Iberia has fallen to bits, bits and pieces. Wow, those guys almost died there. Holy crap. Alright, so what do they got? Oh, yes! Oh, if you want to build this, please go right ahead. That's actually really good. We get more... Wow! We get a lot more political power. Better division training time, attack, defense, organization, recovery rate. That is actually very good. Wowzers. Go ahead and create that. Um, because we could probably use that, honestly. Uh, you guys could probably just go in here now. Short up the defenses a little bit. They won't attack us, that's fine. Well, let's attack them and just kill them off. Literally kill off that motorized division. Nice. There you go, just in case, if you want to do that. Fine with us. We don't have a lot of manpower still, so we got to be careful still. we still got to be a little bit careful. We've killed off a quarter million of them. Not too bad. We lost 21,000, which is quite a few guys already. That's alright. They also, yep, they still want to attack, which is fine with us. How much, I'm sure they've got plenty of equipment, though, right now. Alright. Stockpile. Oh, oh, even better anti-tank. Nice, nice, nice. Better planes, maybe? Yeah, let's get some, oh, actually, we can immediately get this one. Even though, actually, that probably doesn't matter too much. Uh, oh, hello. No, sir. No. Good. Nice. Very awesome. Taloon. Man, if we can move in there fast enough, that'd be really great. But hey, show up the line a little bit. There you go. Some of these areas have not really pushed... Oh, well, that's a lie, huh? That's... Those guys are looking extremely weak. And they're still attacking up north, too. So all their divisions look like they've been really injured. Like, really, really hurt. Incredibly badly. Better support weapons? Nice. How much infantry equipment do they have? No anti-tank, it looks like. Few planes, no... Oh, they're out of... Oh, my goodness. <sighs> A grand principality of this dude. Whatever his name is. Oh, boy. Uh, he's still attacking, which is great. But... <clears throat> I definitely want to attack him again with a general attack. Nice. I mean, if they're still attacking, I don't feel like I need to attack. So, especially in a place like this, look at look how bad that is. They just we just got another motorized division. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love it, but that's extreme, man. That's pretty darn extreme. All right, so they're done attacking. 
No, technically no, huh? Three, two, one. Let's begin an assault, everyone. Let's go. Well, they lost a third of a million. Pretty good, I'd say, so far. Over here, less than a billion. Not bad, not bad. Even after we boosted up our military spending. Yeah, these guys, they just kill off all their armies. Now, we have to keep an eye on our fuel, but we can always import more fuel, which is nice. So Now we get a lot of core more manpower over here. Which would be great, 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 great. Look how, look how bad these, these guys are injured. Those guys are actually okay. The motorized are looking really bad, though. I'm, I'm pretty sure the motorized don't have that many battalions. Yeah, 4 to 9, maybe 10 to 12 combat width. Or 20 combat width, maybe. You never know. Nice. Oh, and we got two more divisions. That's, that's going to seal the deal. Just go on. I'm not worried about this at all, man. There you go. Save a little bit on manpower. And how many divisions do they have now? <clears throat> Up to 26. So they technically still could have more divisions, but doesn't mean they're any good. Doesn't mean they're any good. We've already killed our 400,000 of them. Oh, another division? Oh, yes, please. Very nice. Jelena, escape artist. Yeah, that's that one. You know, just for funsies, you can come over to Camarovo, too. Hey, you want to read about that? Please go right ahead. There you go. Save some manpower for now. And for cryptology. Definitely that group. I wonder if we could peacefully reunify. That'd be awesome, 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 awesome. Get some better casts. A boon to be sure. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Screw it. Keep boosting it up. Keep getting more attack. Keep going, guys. We've only killed off almost half a million of them. 1v1. There's no contest. There's literally no contest. Nice. Beat them up, beat them up, beat them up, beat them up. You find them. Just, I want you to just kill them. I love the motorized. Get uh, the capital. I wonder if we could capitulate them if we get that far. Camarovo. Oh, oh well, there goes those guys. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, they're, they're out of divisions almost. Oh, a little bit of lag, and the 14 left. Nice. Tom's would be nice to get as well. You know what? For this guy, you come down here, I'll kill them off. Cut them in half, and then go to that, 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 and then that. There you go. And the war's over. And we get to do some more of this stuff? Begin the invasion. Um, well, we're kind of ready to war. Oh, yes. Let's do this up before we can't do any more when we get to the next stage, so that'll be good. Oh, we have that one too. Cool. Uh, yeah, go get that stuff. Yeah, why not? Yeah, you go is a lot of fun. <clears throat> Apparently someone said, like, I'm one of the few people who actually plays you go to on YouTube, so... Nice! Awesome! Even though some people would have preferred if I actually had played... And well, that's not like I said earlier, but... You know what? There's so many paths in TNO that we'll get to all of them. Well, maybe not all of them, but a whole lot of them, so... I can tell you that for certain. Uh, we could do Severe Reunification. We really probably should. I really want us to be able to do really well with... Uh, Improving society some more, but uh, just go and do it. That's fine. Whatever. Fortunately, I'm out of coffee though. So, uh, let's start with it into the atomic age. If you want to read about this, please go right ahead because this looks like a g the generic Russian um, nuclear program that happens in every single campaign. Now, some Russian unifiers actually have something unique here and different, but you go to and Irkutsk does, does not. So that's totally okay. Totally fine. Whatever. <clears throat> Oh, screw it. Let's just go in. I don't care. Just go in. Just literally straight on in. Look at that map bar. Oh, quarter million. And what is it going to do about that? Please go ahead. So, if you want to read about the focuses regarding the nuclear program, I'll let you go ahead. But I've already run like 20 times, so there you go. And then this one too. Not too bad. Not too bad. And chase the sun, of course. Uh, I think after this one, we're going to go and just choose to do... Oh, uh, that one's okay. That one's okay as well. I would like to get some more societal of development, but so we'll go down this side. So establish close facilities next. That's way we can get improve our research facilities next. So that'll be great. That'll be really, really great. So and get another infrastructure in Tomsk, which is awesome. Who doesn't love infrastructure? Oh, we free military fact. Oh, what do we do with these then? Uh, lots of casts. Lots and lots of casts. Actually, tanks too. Actually, ooh, nice. Very good. 
Establish close facilities. But let's go ahead and before we do anything else, I read Siberia. For the first time since the 80s, or 50s really, all of Siberia's united under the rule of the Soviet people and their representatives across Siberia. As workers read the words of Comrade Lenin and soldiers mobilized to defend the revolution's new home, and reactionaries scurry into exile. With their in initial position secured, we need to begin the process of securing a rule on these new lands against the forces of reaction and revisionism, who seek to undermine the restoration of Soviet power. Absolutely. Ab so positively. Absolutely. Oh boy. Oh, and we can do this stuff too. Yep. Yeah. Um, there you go. Academic based research facilities. Oh, I love it. I love TNO, man. I, it's The community is special, but I love the mod itself. It's, it's so much fun. So much fun. Actually, did we core everything already? It looks like we did. Yeah, I think we did. Yeah, nice. We did. Awesome. That's, that's really fast. That's awesome, 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 awesome. And let's keep... Actually, for you guys. You are guys are 40 combat with. I want tank division, so it's going to take a lot of army XP for that. Nice. Nice. Very cool. Too bad Western uh, Siberia has to basically reunify itself, but whatever. Anti-air. That's fine. We'll get a few more things to do for that stuff. Oh, we're just putting all that stuff up. No, 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 no. Loads of civvies, my friends. Loads of civvies. And then infrastructure. Actually, air bases take almost like no time to build, so. It's alright. It's all good. Well, I want. I really wonder if we can peacefully re reunify with Zukov. That'd be cool. But I kind of doubt it. 4.9 billion? Oh, uh, if you want to read about this, please go right ahead. Oh, uh, sure. The Reich of Conference? Uh, technically. We've already made the Socialist International, so... I'm not sure why you guys are doing that, but whatever. Even better, Judd Cass, yes, please. Um, let's go grab some of this from Indonesia, why not? If you want to about that, please go right ahead. International Ideal Unites the Human Race. Cool. Hopefully they don't win too fast, because I do want to take out the Republic here real quick. Our Red Siberia is great. And a Foundation for Research. Awesome. Followed with a... Escalate the uh, Golds China? Uh, oh. Oh, we'll talk about that one real soon. I want to read about this one, but... Long live the rifle government of the USSR, said Daniel into the receiver of the battered old telephone. Yes, yes, said his uncle, Ignity, on the other line. It had been his uncle, a long-time secretary for the Communist Party, who had mangled, managed to get Daniel this job in the administration in the first place. How are you fitting in over there, boy? Has anyone given you trouble? No, dear, dear. I've been well, but listen, they've assigned me to write the next reintegration memo, but I... You've already positioned yourself to be writing important documents in your first month? My goodness, Daniel, your mother's going to be so proud of. No, Uncle Ignati. I don't know the first thing about how reintegration is going. I fell asleep at the briefing because they had me working a double shift yesterday, transcribing old speeches. Daniel felt his throat tight as he frantically tried to speak without outright shouting for the entire office to hear. Oh, Daniel, Ignati sighed. Okay, here's what I know. The territory that's being reintegrated is gigantic, nephew. Bigger than any nation could be asked to swallow up at once. Obviously, it's going to be badly compared to the past reintegrations, but... That doesn't mean it's going horribly. We've been adopting existing administrative entities within the territory as fast as we possibly can, but most are messy entities left over from the warlords. It's not clean, Daniel, but we're slowly getting the territory plugged into a governmental apparatus. Unfortunately, we'll still need to reform the systems to be better organized soon after. Is it clear, nephew? Yes, uncle. No, we don't need to tell mother about this, uncle. No. Yagoda has control over virtually every sector of the government, however. He's not accumulated power for want of personal glory or tyranny for its own sake, but to so that the workers may one day be liberated from their chains, and that all enemies of the proletarians will be liquidated or neutralized so that they may so that day may come to pass. However, the day is not soon, and the expansion of the Soviet Union has resulted in many enemies of the people existing within its borders. Only through expanding the security apparatus he created and increasing the tabs of corruption and revisionism can these traitors be weeded out and the wor workers be liberated. I uh, probably need to boost it up anymore. Let's do that one. There you go. Um... Uh, Sure. Yeah, they can go on in. That's fine with us. And since we're over here, anyways, um, let's get training two at a time because we have enough manpower. And for you guys, it's probably really bad. We'll duplicate it, maybe. Tanks. Calm tanks. And I know I made a spelling mistake. Ptax. That's just the uh, Russian way of saying tanks, right? And actually, put APCs here. We prefer APCs for this. Mobiles, APCs, APC. It's gonna take some time. That's fine. And then boom. And then remove. And then remove. I really wish it was a hotkey to just remove this. So like, press like. R or hold R and if you click something, just remove it. That would be actually pretty darn nice. But maybe that's just me. Armor, main battle tanks, battle tanks, battle tanks, battle tanks, battle tanks. I love, oops, I love tanks. Or MBT, I mean, you can hold down like what, nine or something? I don't know, just, just a button. Cool. Still not costing us any uh, army XP, which is, oh, there it goes. As soon as I said something, 
it starts costing us some more. And main battle tanks. We need way more main battle tanks for what I want. Tanox, thank you. Uh, train two at a time. And from here on out, uh, even though I want to build that up stuff, that stuff up way more, we need way more tanks. So go down there and then go down to there. We got enough cast for everybody, so we'll be fine. Foundation stream for research. Oh, and hot autumn ends. It is what it is. And we're getting more fuel, which is awesome, 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 awesome. Plenty of planes. Are we doing any damage? No, because... Oh, actually, we might have been doing some damage. I just said our planes are very far away from everyone else, so... It is what it is. A foundation for research. Beautiful. And then the People's Trust. Uh, oh, improved jet fighters. Very cool. Let's grab some of that. Happy 1970, everyone. Hope you're having a great year, but assess the progress. The goal of the USSR is to develop the productive forces of society into a class of society as possible. Although our efforts in this field are already well underway, it is best if the administration pauses and assesses the labor done to this end. In doing so, we may determine what fields of industry may be best developed to further the revolution in Siberia, construct more infrastructure, and reappraise production quotas to ensure that we're expanding the economy fast enough. Nice. And the Russian so Soviet Federative Socialist Republic, huh? We're gonna need more divisions for this, because we have a, we'll have a long thin line. Opening up manufacturing. Oh yes, our aim is to ultimately build a classless, moneyless system where all men and women are equal. But before we that, we must build a social society to crush the power of the bourgeoisie. And before even that, we must develop our productive forces so that society is ready for socialism. And the only way it can be done is through capitalism. Through, through selling off some of our state-owned factories to foreign investors, not only will it encourage a foreign bourgeoisie to invest and develop our nation, it will also give us access to technologies that will propel the revolution to victory across Russia. Yagoda's mercy. Kenrik Yagoda restlessly tapped his pen on his desk. The numbers weren't adding up, and he had done all he could reasonably be expected to do in order to make them do, do so. Cool. He frowned. Money was missing from the budget, to, too much for it to be a mere error. The perpetrator had done little to nothing to cover his tracks, likely expecting to get away with it due to his rank. Had he not been clear that the years of the corruption were over? That fraud would no longer be tolerable in his government? That transgressions against the legitimacy of the state would be met with death? Perhaps he had been too merciful in the past, too lenient to truly send the correct message, yes. If there was one thing that Comrade Yagoda knew was true of himself, it was that he was a merciful man. Anyone else in his position who was looking out over the seditious world he ruled over would have it all burned down. His old bony fingers, his fingers spun the phone down. He lifted the receiver to his ear. Yes, Chairman, asked the Secretary. This is a man we need to make an example of, Comrade Goethe said, without joy but only with duty. The mercy of Comrade Goethe is a privilege that can be revoked. And we want to do this one first, just because it helps decrease quarrying times, which is actually really, really fast already. But that would mean we can quarry Kazakhstan much faster and then integrate the Siberian industry. Central Siberia was not a beacon of industry and labor like Birmingham or the Ruhr or Pennsylvania were abroad, but its mines and oil fields can boost the economy of the Union and greatly expand international foreign trade. We must connect our infrastructure to that of the Central Siberia with pipelines, roads, and railways. By linking them in our factories together, we will be able to take the first steps needed to make the Soviet Union become the economic superpower it was always meant to be, a growing middle class. Allowing foreign interests in their territory has done wonders towards restoring our capabilities as an industrial wonder. We're Reaping the benefits of an increased economic base will also greatly improve conditions for actual citizenry. With foreign interests paying our workers higher than average wages, and the increased wealth allowing us to spend more on social programs, it's becoming clear that a nascent and middle class is beginning to form, and will soon be a thriving aspect of our nation. Die-hard socialists at home might complain about our hypocrisy at allowing the capitalists in our nation, but, and the newly arrived foreigners grumble <clears throat> about the intense policing and supervision in our state, but none can argue that policy has been successful. It's better to have a rich, oppressed nation than a poor, oppressed nation. Nice. And going to integrate all these places. T Ten days is super, super fast. Wow. And more military factors? Great. More tanks. I want more tanks because I do want to throw them on um, for each of our 40 combat divisions eventually, so which would be great. International factory. It's not enough that we produce enough materials as needed. We must become the factory of the world manufacturing resources and goods. Not only will it enrich the coffers of the state and give us an edge over reactionary and fascist enemies, but the vast expansion of industry will in time enrich the workers within our borders and supply proletarians all over with the products they need to survive and prosper. Through the creation of an export-oriented economy, we will be well on the way to socialism. Nice. Cool, and at this point, I'm going to go ahead and take out you guys. Even though it won't really matter too much, it'll still be okay. Uh, harsh leader, yeah, it's fine. Drop tanks are nice. Can I get some of that too? Cool. And actually, I'm going to split you guys up in half. This way, we have another commander already to go. Five attack, yes please. Andre Belov, thank you very much. That's going to be quite difficult to defend, but that's okay. 
Actually, we definitely want a lot of infrastructure for here, too. Loads of civvies. We'll finish these guys off first, though. So. There you go. Nice. Very good. More millies. Um, really? Do we need... How much... How many recruits do we really need? Because we're looking pretty good. Main battle tanks. I mean, other than that, we're looking good on planes as well. I don't want to see interceptors. No, thank you. Two, two bombers. Don't believe in that here for now. Um, yeah, we're looking really, really good on everything. Get more tanks, I guess. There you go. 45. Yeah, let's do this one. Address you're in a problem. That'll be fine with us. Up next, people's trust. Incorporate the West. Yes. Oh, so I decrease growing time even more. Wow. How, how fast can we course stuff? Holy crap. Despite a victory over the main forces of reaction in the West, the process of integration remains a long and arduous one. At every turn, the old elites and their puppets, knowingly or not, have pulled out all the possible stops to prevent the integration of central Siberia. History, however, shows that these efforts will be all in vain, just as the white generals of old attempted to maintain their bloody yoke upon the people's necks. These elites and their efforts will prove fruitless. Nice. Let's go up here and keep doing this stuff. Because that'll be great. And less than two months for that? Nice. We're building up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half. Holy crap. And we're about five billion, six billion? That's not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, uh, I mean, that does contribute to it, but you know what? Keep boosting it because we want to build, build, build. For the love of God, keep building in industry. Civvies. Yes. Arr. Addressing the uranium problem. And incorporate the West. Do we anything here yet? No. We're still building stuff up, which is great. Great, great, great. Dispatch a supplemental commissar. Despite our efforts, Siberia remains an untamed region, ruled by reactionary thought and petty criminals. To rectify this, we can pull some commissars from more stable regions in the Far East to reinforce our efforts to secure the West. For a year, we get better political power, less war support, but we get less damage garrisons, which is not bad, but doesn't really mean to us too much to us right now. And you guys are infantry, which is fine, fine, fine. And oh, we got better planes or something. Yeah, better jet cast. Awesome. Incorporate the West. Great. I'll take you and duplicate you, and even though I could just throw you somewhere else, but whatever. Cast, there you go. And there you go. Do we have any more fighters? I'll take another thing of fighters. Oh, we have no more fighters in reserve. Nice. Oh, what do we have here? Yes, advanced development phase. Do that, 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 and then that. Awesome. Great, we're doing great. We're doing really well. And then, re-educate the bureaucrats? Yes. Although social states in central Siberia, if they were left-wing at all, they deviated heavily from the orthodox Marxism, Leninism, Bukharinism, there were nevertheless enough left-wingers who entered the various civil services of the region to staff important administrative positions in our own regime as such. The best recommended course of action is to construct rehabilitation centers, where aforementioned revisionists may be persuaded to abandon their revisionist ways and be re-educated into proper marxist leninist Bukharinist ideology, where they may put their talents and efforts into rebuilding the Soviet Union. Very nice. Cool. And we got all this stuff done. Well, we can do that stuff, but I still want more industry first. Thank you. More max factories in the state. Awesome, awesome. More divisions. Awesome, awesome. It's going to cost us more, but you know what? That's okay. Actually, how fast is our economy growing? 9.6 is not bad. Oman has defeated Dofar. Oh, do we have any upgrades for these guys? Do you have anything here? Uh, infantry expert. Yeah, we'll go with infantry expert. That's fine. Oh, you guys finished up too? Oh, there you go. You won't ever finish up, really. Nice. And we could grab that stuff. Let's get some more research speed, actually. I forgot about that. There you go. And now we're going to need a lot of anti-air. Oh, god dang it. That's not too bad, actually. There you go. Go there. Oh, I can siphon off a few from, like... There you go. 30. There you go. That's good enough. Leonid. Yes, please. And... Oh, well, let's do this one. Cool. We have so much people, it's not even funny. Opportunities for amnesty. Where Central Siberia was not filled with revisionists, it was rife with reactionaries and fascists of all stripes, however. Although the bureaucrats and civil servants often rejected socialism completely, they were nevertheless talented enough that the state should not liquidate them as the first co course of action. As with the revisionists, the best course of action would be to offer them amnesty for the capitalist ways, putting their skills into good use by helping the workers of Siberia and building a socialist society. Nice. Slowly going up more and more and more, but that's okay. Because we're going to need a big army to fight Zukov. If we need to bite him. Yeah, 100,000 manpower. That's not bad. We have more than him. We have more than double his industry, which is awesome. We did take over Kazakhstan, too, which does help. Um, they got probably plenty of equipment. 5,000 pieces up there. Yeah. Mosin and Nagants. Yes, is It's not great. They do have 101 divisions. Wow, that's a lot of divisions. Uh, this template is 20 combat. With no, no, hold on. That's That's different. 12 plus 14. 
26. Yeah, that's a, that's a different that's a different template. 14 plus 12, 26. 26 plus 6 is 32. 32 combo with for it. That's huh. Okay, well that's very weird. Okay, well whatever. Whatever. You know we'll deal with it. Ah, we actually have some tanks now. Finally. Let's go ahead and read. Oh, we already did this one, so we'll do this one next. And we just did source for materials, lose some political power and stability, but you know what? We can lose it. It doesn't really matter at this point, so not too bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and a half. Eight and a half. Let's go on. Oh, and the oil crisis. Yay! Uh, who's leading America right now? Oh, well, the mandates went kaboom. Oh, LBJ so here. Okay. Nice. Look at ugh, that's a beautiful Africa. Beautiful. Too bad Goring lost. Goring always loses, man. Oh, Thatcher's here. Look at that. The promise of free enterprise. Cool. When's the next division done, too, actually? Uh, the infantry will be done soonish. Not bad. Plenty of fighters. We could use a little bit more cast, though, but whatever. Uh, let's grab that one. Cool. And then we'll do opportunities for amnesty. Yeah, we're moving pretty quick in this episode. Yeah, I, I figured this would be the last one just because there's not a whole lot here, but that's okay. Oil crisis? The people's trust. From our earliest days, workers suffering from false consciousness have doubted whether the party actually serves them. The Barat mutiny of that tumultuous era must serve as a reminder of what can happen if this false consciousness is allowed to grow and fester. To remind the workers that we exist to serve them first and foremost, we must begin a public relations and outreach campaign telling them what we have not lost our touch with a common man and the work we do is for the benefit at the end of the day. Keep building, 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 building. You're never done building. People's trust. Amnesty for the old marshal. Alexander Velovsky. A steady young, th young thin-lipped officer in a uniform that has seen starch far more than it had tasted dirt. There's been quite a bit of chatter about what to do with you. Velovsky, for his part, held himself with dignity, sitting tall in the chair before the metal table where he'd just eaten a steel dinner. His uniform as well maintained as could be asked during imprisonment. I'm aware that I'm not leaving the captivity alive, but my men and my officers only did as I told them to. Let them go. No, 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 don't worry about your officers. They'll be fine, Marshal. Is that a surprise to you that I still call you that? It is your official title given to you by the USSR, after all. Listen, Marshal, Comrade Yagod has some sympathy for you. Your army was giving orders, given orders, by the government to defend the East. And so you did, even when it was no longer clear if a government still existed at all. It's obviously not the case that you were disloyal, Marshal, merely that you were confused as to whom the rightful leaders, rightful heirs to the old government. Well, now you know it's us. What are you getting at, said Valevsevsky? What I'm getting at is your reputation, Marshal. You received a great deal of criticism for failing to stand up to the old comrade Bukharin, when he clearly disagreed with his policies, military or otherwise. What we're saying, Valevsky, as a comrade of is looking forward to enjoying the same lovely arrangement. Welcome back to the USSR, Marshal Valevsky. Vasilevsky. I keep saying his name wrong, I apologize. Vasilevsky. Nice. Army professional goes up as well. Nice, nice, nice. Very bueno. Keep training, you ain't done training yet. This is all just in case. Uh, or Operation or Project Glasnost? The draconian limits on freedom of expression within our borders have more in common with fascism than the egalitarian workers' paradise we strive to build. To help realize the dream of a truly liberated society, we must put an end to as many limits on freedom of speech or public expression of thought as it is practical at the moment. Letting reactionaries and counter-revolutionaries express their treacherous ways within reason is also an excellent method of keeping track of them in a way that censoring them and forcing them underground is not. Nice. A growing middle class. Um, uh, I thought I already read this one. Yeah, I've already read this one. So if you want to read about that, please go right ahead. Wow, we get it again. Great. We can probably actually. Uh, let's get better artillery. Actually. Oh, we forgot about that one too. Oh, it is what it is. Whatever. Cool. And it's 1970, so we'll be able to do talks very, very soon. Very, very soon, actually. And I'll do chase the sun next because it's 28 days, which and it helps our industrial expertise, which would be nice. So, not bad. And then, order through prosperity. It is only when the working man is well fed he has no reason to listen to rabble rousers and demagogues who threaten his ultimate freedom. And it is only when the state is orderly enough and free of dis dissidents that it can guide the economy in a rational manner that the worker may be well fed. To ensure the ultimate stability of our social society, we must ensure that the economic growth benefits the common man first and foremost, and that the state is free of dangerous extremists who wish to abandon scientific socialism in favor of radical, irrational methods of developing and distributing our nation's resources. Great. Freedom of speech, not freedom from consequences. You'll forgive us for not trusting you, yelled the man in the crowd the USSR rep who had been sent to his village. Pietro, uh, Pietro, who was the main dis distance man's name according to Karel's local informant, and so Karel scribbled the man's name into his NKVD notebook. Yes, replied the representative in reply. 
I do, I do forgive you. The new USSR is not the old one, for we are for the people, well and truly. We encourage all to, of you to speak to your minds. We all see through your registry scheme, Carmen. You just want information on us so, who can, so we can be easily rounded up, Credit Woman. And Crow wrote her name down too. <laughs> we do want to know where, who and where you are, comrades, but only to know how to better serve you. So we can better know where to distribute your food and any goods you may need, the rub said with an honest smile. And I know you not trust me, but I swear to you that this is the new USSR. One where freedom of speech and open dialogue is a protected right. If you need any more evidence of this, consider that the old government would have never allowed you to speak to a party member in this way. Please, comrades, fill out your registry information and do not be afraid to speak for you are each of you safe in your nation. Colonel smiled as the townspeople reluctantly filed out the registry, registration tents that had been set up. He flipped his notebook shut and handed it to one of his other planes closed NKVD agents who was present. Round up all the work of those who spoke out. Make sure that no one knows it's you, Colonel ordered. His lips curled into wicked grim. The new cultural openness sure makes life far easier for the NKVD. We've registered voting? Nice. With some stability, we'll get more political power, which means nothing to us now. Ah, beautiful. Order through prosperity, though. Well, I definitely got that one next. Slightly decreased corn time, so basically we can core things within like a day. So, which is awesome. Keep building, building, building. We're not done yet. We're not out of the doghouse. And I have a feeling we don't really need to do all this stuff yet. As much as I'd love to build all this stuff up, we don't really need it just yet. Civvies? Anybody? Yes? Yes? Let's build the civvies over here first. Just because uh, the western side of our nation is going to get hit pretty hard too. So, eh, it doesn't really matter though. Let's build them up anyways. Screw it. Cool. Water through prosperity. And we'll finish this and get ready to go to war with those other groups or maybe peace reunify with the pride of the Union. The fascist and reactionaries who try to halt the wheel of history laughed as it seemed to groan and stop under the hands, believing that they could remain masters of the world in perpetuity. However, the wheels have yet kept turning, as nothing can stop the fury of the proletariat and the global revolution to come. Now we stand poised to reunite the Soviet Union, and nothing will stop the wrath of the workers as they crush their slave drivers beneath them, not just in Russia or even in Europe, but the entire world. Very nice. And our growth is now at 10.6%. Nice. 10.6. That's pretty darn decent. Not gonna lie. And we're basically done with all building and stuff like that. 84 billion versus 25 billion in debt. Not too bad. And it's November. So basically by the time we're done with this one, we'll have a little bit of time before we have to go to war with these guys. But we'll see if we can peacefully reunify. Material procurement. Nice. And we've got so much PP. So much manpower. Military construction. I mean, this is just so good. Uh, sure, why not? And what do we have here? Tanks? No. Another infantry division, which is fine with us. Memories of the mutineers. Gunner could go to watch the lights flicker in his office. Reindustrialization was going well, but the old systems that had yet be to be replaced and rewired were still nothing to rely on. Outdated or not, the fact that so much of his territory had powered all was a testament to his success. He reached over his reports to drink from a cool glass of water and joined the feeling as it chilled his throat and mouth. So much success, and they come so close with mere inches of losing it all in the uprising of the Leninist turncoat, Valerie Soplin. It was a defining moment for the USSR, the greatest challenge she had ever faced. He remembers the day, to the day he received the reports. For an instant, a single instant of cold-blooded panic and hopeless terror, Genrik thought that he could understand what old Bukharin felt the day they told him that the Wehrmacht had invaded. Genrik wasn't there that day, but he informed it who were. They said Bukharin had shriveled when he heard, writing wilting like a flower before an inferno, and so when you go to face the same circumstance, the same test of will, star staring national downfall in the face, he knew that he could not flounder as Bukharin had done. You could remain strong, remain composed, and patiently move to handle the upstart. Yenrik smiled. It was the first of many tests of his resurgent nation, but there were many more to come. He took his pen in hand and returned to his paperwork once more, renewed in his will to succeed. The new USSR, like its leadership, will be stronger than the old, in which we have about a month left, but I do want to see, maybe, potentially, if we could peacefully reunify with Zukov, with the Russian Soviet Federative Socialist Republic. Actually, how strong are they? Uh, okay, everybody saw that. Oh, wait. They are uh, Akromeyev. Okay, cool. We have very good relations. 108 divisions, which is insane. Compared to them, we only have 32, but our divisions are really good. They have not made that many more divisions, huh? And we're about halfway there, so not bad. Primary schooling will definitely probably go up. Uh, probably not research facilities. Agriculture is already there. Axed out. Yep, we'll definitely get poverty done, which is nice. Uh, keep boosting because we want to build, 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 build. I keep working on nuclear program. Uh, factory complexes probably won't go up. Uh, industrial expertise, seven and a half a month will probably go up as well, maybe. We'll see what happens. Army professionalism is already on there. It'd be cool to get aspiring discipline, but we'll probably won't go there. I wish we could do more stuff with our PP. It's kind of disappointing that we can't, but whatever. And happy 1971, everyone. Let's do unification talks. I propose a non aggression pact. We could do that. Um, let's advance the development phase and keep doing this stuff. And enhance our diplomatic standing. Yes. We want way more diplomatic weight. 
And Opera Panic decreases its stuff. Well, let's do non aggression pack. Let's see what happens with them first. If you want to read about this, please go ahead. Pushing ever onwards. I kind of hope they don't accept it just because I, I kind of want to kill them off, but whatever. Alright, we've got a month left, which kind of sucks since we're already dealing with everything here, anyways. And we've, we've been doing pretty darn well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, oh, 10 and some. 10 plus. Oh, we're less than 6 billion. Look at that. Nice. Very nice. Come on, guys. What are we going to do? Are we going to peacefully, peacefully, peacefully reunify or not? And, ooh, I'd like to go there. I don't think I've ever gotten this one done. Maybe I have once, Tom, but I kind of don't think so. Okay, you guys go right there. How many tanks do we have in reserve, actually? Uh, transport. Uh, that's nice. No, we don't really need that, though. Um, we have, oh, we definitely need more anti-air now. Oh, baby boy. Well, if that's the case, I don't want to lower that anymore. Go down to five, maybe? Oh, more divisions? Nice. Decrease of poverty. Hey, there we go. If you like it about that, please go right ahead. A toaster ec economists. Um, let's see. Oh, less than a billion. That's actually extremely good. Wow. Uh, let's do that one. Secure peace? Yes. Alright, so what, what are we going to do next? We might just be able to peacefully do this one. Um, enhance your diplomatic standing. Um, um, pro unification faction? Sure. 111. Nice. Oh, they were checking the nap. Oh, crap. That's not good. A shame. Oh, there's, we still might go to war between with, with these guys, so... Zukov is definitely a beast to be reckoned with. If we lower this by one, we'd still do really, really well. Um, we're almost... Actually, holy crap, we're almost done building up all the cities. Holy crap. Nice. We still got more rocketry... Rocket stuff that we needed, so... Wow, the tanks we produce... Kind of garbage, not gonna lie. Pretty garbage. Alright, Zukov, what do you want next? I mean, tension's higher than receptiveness, which is not very good, but... Yeah, we're definitely missing a lot of anti-air, which is not great, but whatever. It is what it is. Actually, since we're here, go and start building some airbase around here, too. There you go. That'd be nice. It's good. Get some radar stations. Eh, we don't have that many radar stations, but whatever. We're still building up civvies, so... Beautiful. 200 million. Jeez, that's so good. Alright, well, we got three days left. What's next? Come on, guys. And? Accept the deal? Yes. Uh, refuse the deal? Probably not. Loosen restrictions? Uh, who's that one? And it doesn't really matter. Uh, declaration of friendship? We can try that. Come on. Dic discreetly? Ooh, 70% chance. I like the 70% chance. Discreetly support pro-unification groups. 35 versus 30. Nice, nice. 40, 40. Yes, yes. They must have accepted or something. And then, so diplomatic standing. That'd be good. 119 is pretty, pretty large number. Not gonna lie. 300 billion? Less than 300 billion? Million? 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 Oh, man. Why does it take so long? Oh, uh, time go on. Doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, got all that stuff done. Let's go back over here and get some more radar, maybe? It's only 31 days. So that's not too bad. We might be able to build it up in time, but we'll see what happens. Not super, super important, but, you know, you never know. More planes, yes, please. Yes, yes. Because they definitely have some planes as well, so. Just got to be ready for them. Cast. More cast, please. Another division, nice. And we're building up the entire army probably for nothing, but maybe you never know. We have a lot of war support either, so, huh. All right, what do they say? What do they say? What do they say? Offers? Yes. Yes. That'd be good. Mutual training? Yes. 40-30. 40-30. 43? Yes, yes. I get more political power. Good. 63? Come on. Come on, guys. We've almost got it. We might not need to spell any bloodshed. And actually, if we were to continue this campaign when, if, as, as if TNO2 was actually available, um, we would be able to just basically probably take all the divisions because we have almost 40 really, really, really good divisions. So, some rubber. How's it looking? Oh, we're actually doing quite well. Oh, wow, we're actually really doing well on aluminum as well. Look at that, nice. There you go. Radar station, good. Keep boosting it up. We'll probably need two of them since there's so much land here. Yeah, we're done building Sylvie's nice. Um, At this point, we don't really need to boost it any anymore. Minus that much is just really, really good. Even though it does slow us down a little bit compared to where we were at, we're, that's, we're still looking very good. 
And so that's, we already have a max up. We get four PP a day, 420 blaze in it. Holy crap. If you like to do about better industrial expertise, please go ahead as well. Excellente. Innovative industry, great, 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 great. Oh, access form good, sure, why not? Oh, public support, great. Okay, it looks like we might be able to do this. I think it was Iran. Oh, 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 that's not good. Maybe not, maybe not. Minus four billion, holy crap. Holy good daddies. Come on, guys, just accept it. You don't want to spill any bloodshed. We need every single man for the war against Germany. Which we won't be able to do in this episode, but whatever. Come on. Oh, enhance your diplomatic standing. You might as well. It doesn't really matter. Actually, their diplomatic standing went down. It was a 50. Now it's at 149. Now it's at 49. We're at 131, which is great. Come on. Oh, another division. Nice. Great. Supplemental integration. Ah, oh, sucks. We can't build any more civvies. Ah, now we're sad. Now we're super sad. Oh, you bought it. Ah, nuclear reactor? Why not? Nuclear reactors sound like fun. Nothing ever goes wrong with them. A conference on ult. Oh, yes. If you want to buy that, please go ahead. <gasps> Check the air in the room. Our partner accepts. Good. Check in the air. Rally the Russians. Um. No, let's not do that one. We must rally the Russians. Why not? That's that one. 73 and 20. This could still fail. And we're just cutting down our debt now. That's so awesome. Come on, Russians. What are you going to do? Man, why does it take so long? That's such a long time. A month? Does it really take a month to get over there? I guess maybe it does. Still. Ooh. But regardless, we're going to improve our technologies anyway, so. Nice. Four days. Not great. Oh, actually, are we lacking things here? Anti air, which makes sense, but still. There we go. Keep training, keep training. What it oh, enhanced diplomatic standing, you might as well. Doesn't really matter. Radar. Better radar is nice. Even better radar after that. Wow, we're running out of manpower, which uh, we might want to start cutting down on our recruitment levels. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. That's fine, it doesn't matter. Maybe one at a time. There you go. Nice. Save a little bit more manpower. Hey, if you wonder about that, please go ahead as well. That is something to be celebrated. Great. Uh, sure, why not? More army XP, why not? Any... Oh, begin final unification talks? Why not? Um, like, any, uh... Oh, incentivizing allies, support them openly? What is this? 40% chance? Let's go on. The screw support pro unification groups. Um, I was gonna say something. I can't remember now. Oh, oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. How's this coming along, actually? Moderate... 8% of both? That's not too bad. We're at 68%, so. Happy July. Happy July. Come on. I didn't realize this took 45 days. That takes so long. Yeah, it takes this takes a long time to do. Our peace, the receptiveness is 98, which is really, really good. Come on. Let's cut it down. Yeah, I, I remember what I was going to say. Um, with this death issue, like, even though we're cutting it down, we're not really... It doesn't look like we're cutting it down just because the interest on the debt just keeps going up. So, 27.39. If we keep cutting it down, then eventually it'll be gone, but whatever. 90 billion is really good as well, too. Holy crud. Come back over here now. Uh, actually, get more fuel. We're, we don't have that much fuel, really. Uh, how much fuel do we actually have? We have... Ooh. Can get one more civvy back. 204. Actually, we, oh, we've got quite a bit of fuel. After we took out Kazakhstan, that was actually quite nice. Hey, there we go. Monetary assistance. We'll take the money with a smile. Why not? Yep, 26.77. Nice. 91 billion. So, 26.77. 26 26.77. Yeah, we're looking really good. Almost a hundred more weight than they do. Come on. Man, it takes so long to get through this part. I guess you kept on civvy spending, but whatever. We'll be fine. And we're good to go. Come on. Just reunify Zukov. Why are you taking so long? 101 out. We probably we probably will. Tension is 10. And? Are you going to do that one? It's fine. Whatever. After so long... Now look at that. That is beautiful. Our diplomats have leave the conference with a new compatriot in tow and a treaty declaring the Russian-Soviet 
Federative Socialist Republic's integration into the Siberian so Soviet Socialist Republic. These two nations, already so intertwined with each other's economy and military politics, have formalized their unity by sharing a banner name. Though working and adapting the Russian Soviet Federative Socialist Republic's laws and administration remains, our union can no longer be interfered with or interrupted by the other ill intentioned nations. So it ends in peace Russia's half century of national humiliation. And so it begins 100 years of rebirth. Absolutely beautiful, my friends. And we get all their divisions. 115. Good God. Jesus Christ. Goodbye. Beautiful, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, we don't need that one anymore. And we can go ahead and do reunification. No, we're pretty good already. Well, 1.1 million without integrating any of the places yet. Actually, how long will it take? Oh, did it do it immediately? Hold on. It did it immediately. Holy crap. A single day. Right? It did. Holy crap. Alright, let's go begin. And... Well... Do we... Is that all? Ah, here we go. The Union Research. Long battle for Russia comes to a close as a contender finally conquers the entire country. As might be expected, the new Russia that reincarnated USSR, ever arising from the direct successor of the old one, steered or steered with a firm hand by the former secret police men. Genrik Yagoda, the new Soviet Union, is different in several respects. Far stronger than the secret police, and weaker, far weaker state intervention into the economy, defended by Yagoda himself as an economic development initiative. His policies have nonetheless made him the target of significant criticism by the international left, where he is ever potential revisionism. If he plays his cards right, the former NKVD may very well see the Soviet Union take back its place as an economic power. But many questions remain. Is an iron hand what the revolution needs? Above all, my friends, a means can be justified only by its ends. But the end in its turn needs to be justified, which we are done with this campaign. And actually, I do want to bring up one thing that I, did, I don't think I mentioned earlier. Wow, minus five billion is not bad. If you look at Yugoda, he's kind of got like a Hitler stash under there. So it's actually really cool. Yugoda, if I remember correctly, he was actually purged from part of the Great Purges in the 30s under Stalin. So that's why, I don't know, we just don't know much about him as much. Well, we know quite a bit, but he was purged in the Great Purges. But... If you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another video. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.